Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay. Um, I will give you guys a quote from my subscriber webcast that I did yesterday afternoon uh, after the market closed, and it was this. Do you want to be short or do you want to make money? Because that's exactly what this market is telling you right now at least until the Fed at, at 2 o'clock today. Um, there's just, you know, it the, the the pattern and everything that we discussed with respect to the Bollinger Bands, you know, we, we established 34, we established 40, we, we ground for a couple of days, and now we're going up to meet these bands. Um, it's, it, and, you know, the, the reason this, this um, market keeps getting fueled to the upside is not because there's a bunch of fresh money coming in and buying it. That's not what's happening. It's because people are getting consistently squeezed out of the market. They keep trying to come in and say that this tick is the top tick. And then they throw more contracts at it. Then they throw more contracts at it. And then they wake up and say, what am I doing? And then they dump it. And that sends us higher. And that's how you do 1773.25. Um, I indicated last week, and it was not a popular position in the room, um, that we were going to 1770 to 1773, and I said it is what it is, and that I mean sometimes markets really aren't that much harder than that, and I'm as guilty as this as anybody. We make it hard. We make it hard, and right now, if you're trying to short this market every other handle, you're making it hard. So what happens? Are we going to have this sudden reversal right here? Is this is this it right here? 1772.75? And I'm, I'm doing it this way, and I don't mean to be flippant, but this is how people think. And I want you to understand this as a trader. This is that That's the end right here. We're in. 72.75. All this is over right here. Why? Why would it be? We haven't had a single big tick in days. We're not punching any Bollinger Bands. There's no news that would indicate that the rally is over. But I guarantee you, there's somebody out there right now throwing a bunch of contracts at it, then throwing a bunch more and throwing a bunch more because they're saying, well, that's it, 1773, that's it. it's done. And that's how large losses are created in, in accounts. So, um, what I would suggest, there's a different way to approach it, and that's to wait for large ticks, wait for it to punch through the Bollinger Band, wait for an event to come back down, and until then, keep buying dips. Now, eventually it's going to reverse. Does it reverse on the Fed news? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what they can say that's really different. Are we overvalued up here? Um, we are. We are stretched now. We are. Uh, peak price is 50, 52, 53 handles above the 45-day pivot. So we're now officially stretched to the point of of being overbought pretty soon. Um, so that you know, that's the first indication to me up here that that the end may be near, at least for a little bit of a pullback. That's about what we got up here. Up here, we got about 50 for our half-day pullback to 34. So if you're short, I, I understand where you're coming from. I took a little bit of a hit last night, but I mean, you put a stop on and deal with it, you know, because you just you know. You have to be leaning long. All the money I made yesterday was long. I did. I had a couple scalps short, but the majority of the of, of the good money I made yesterday was long. So you have to say to yourself, "Yes, we're up here. Yes, we're trading these highs. Yes, we're doing this. Yes, we're doing that." But you're in this to make money, and if you're in this to make money, you need to be trading it from the long side until this market reverses. And nobody knows. 
when that is going to happen, when, when we're going to reverse. They can give you certain signposts and things like that, and I've given you one today. We're 50 handles above the 45-day the pivot. Is there anything else that goes with that? We have a news event at 2 o'clock. Other than that, no. No. So uh, just be careful out there if you're trying to short this. You can short it with a plan. You really can. Uh, but you have to stick to your plan or you're going to end up you know, getting rid of it right at the top. So um, trade money from the long side during the day to make money. If you're short, have a plan. Add slow, stay small. And you know we're, we, we are, we're going to pull back. Whether that pullback is from 1773 or 1793, I don't know. Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.